Hello, my name is Alvina and this is Michael. Hello, hi. So today we're going to do a challenge uh, to test the cleaning power of two popular detergent. Okay. I'm going to use the Norwex UPP. What's yours? Okay, mine is... Uh... Okay, I'm not going to disclose my brand, yeah, but it's supposed to be very uh, popular, very uh, quite a pricey, uh, popular brand in the market. Also okay. eco-friendly? Of course, it's eco-friendly, okay. yes, but uh, supposed to have very high soap power. Alright, All right, so okay, let's, see. Yeah, let's see how. Yeah. So we have filled both our jar with uh, water, okay. it's just water, uh, 60 grams water. Same volume, right? Yes, okay. 60 grams. 60 grams, uh, okay. And Good. how much powder are you going to put in? Okay, this is very pow powerful soap, so I'm going to use just half a teaspoon. Okay, that's not mix here. I think, yeah, this is just half. I'm, I'm going to use just half of half teaspoon, alright? Okay, I will challenge you, Michael. I will use half of your half. Wow, so serious. Okay. This is wet. So confident. Half of your half. Is this half of your half? Yeah, okay. This is half of his half. Okay. Is it all dissolved? It's already okay. three, times three times divided by times two because we I half the half, Correct. which means it is six times more powerful six than your superpower detergent, yeah, right? Yeah. Six times six more times. powerful. So let's see. Six times more powerful. I can't believe this. See if I still have I did. Wow. 
12? Is it 12 times more powerful? No, yeah. 8 times more powerful. Yeah. Okay, I don't think I want to try anymore. I don't want to waste my idea. Oh, so, okay. I think it's, uh, it's very clear who the winner is. Yeah, I'm so surprised, you know. I thought this is one of the best and uh, I've been using it for years. So, and I didn't know that the power is... Correct. So, to those that think um, UPP can be a little bit costly, but you know, bear in mind that it has eight times the cleaning power of a very popular brand. It's not even a commercial supermarket brand, but it is a popular, uh, popular eco-friendly brand. Yes. So you can actually save money with UPP. Yeah, it looks like yeah, it's very possible because it's eight times uh, the power. Yeah, I, I, I'm not so sure. And you can that. compare even after uh, four drops of iodine, four big drops of iodine, it is still very, very clear. Yeah. And I notice also there are something floating on this. Uh, on this? Yeah, what is it actually? So these are what we call fillers. Ah, so okay. you see, you could be buying um, a detergent which is much bigger pack than this, right? And you think you're getting value for money because it's much bigger pack for a lower price. But a lot of the uh, a lot of the detergent is really not soap. They are insoluble like fillers. So fillers, this is what fillers do to, to our water when we are cleaning. So this kind of water, when you flush out to the waterways, it will pollute our river, our ocean, and compared with this. So this is clear, and this would also clog your washing machine. So There's technically, so what you're saying is the fillers will not be dissolved, it will be permanently Yeah, I don't think it is dissolving, yeah, right? You can like, see correct. it's floating it's still particle. floating, mm -hmm. yeah, even though I put in some effort to stir it, it looks like it's not dissolving yeah. So, UVP does not have any harmful chemical, it's biodegradable No phosphate, no sulfate, no chlorine, no bleach, no fillers, no optical brightener no animal testing, no dye, no fragrance. Okay, I'm convinced. Alright. I'm gonna switch over to UPP straight Sweet. away. Alright. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Okay, bye bye.